we with Coach Rip Ork of Holmes County Central Jags getting ready uh, for the second ball game. But Coach, you won the ball game last week and you opened the ball game at your second year here. Talk about preparing for the first ball game last week where you got the W. Uh, like you say, you know, uh, in, in preparing, we played a jamboree down in Mississippi State. You know, we played the number nine team in the state, uh, Knoxville, and, uh, you know, you know, we, we ironed a whole bunch of stuff out before we played that first game, and that was really good for us. Good. Coach, uh, talk about the numbers you have here. That's always important, the participation level. What about the numbers here at Holmes County Central? Yeah, we got about 75 kids out there, man. They practice every day. They doing what they're supposed to do. You know, we got a junior varsity team that's going to play a whole schedule. So, you know, we got stuff building up. Coach, what are you doing to create the interest here or to this level in this program? Well, n nothing really, man. These kids already had interest, man. I mean, when we first got here, you know, we started at 707, man. They just showed up my first day. I think we had something like 80 guys, man, and they, they kept coming. So they always, I guess, wanted to do it. You know, and I guess when the, when the schools merged, they just came out and, uh, you know, we just kept it going. What you're trying to establish here? What kind of culture you're trying to establish in terms of uh, winning? You have you've done that in the past. You're going to do it here. How are you doing that? Uh, man, look at it. It, it, it. It's just old school stuff, man. You coach the kids. You let them play. You let them have fun. And you know, if they come in practice and doing what you say, do they're going to win. And once they start winning, it's going to be interest, and it's going to keep on going. Talk about the season last year. You you were successful. What did you do to do that? Well, like you say, man, those guys came in and they really did it. You know, those guys came in and practiced every day. They did everything we asked them to do. And we told them that if you do everything we asked you to do, man, y'all going to win. And that's what they did. And once they won their first game, they just didn't want to look back. They said, hey, we like this. And, uh, you know, just kept on going. And, Coach, you got them motivated to play even though they couldn't play in postseason. What do you do from week to week to do that? Yeah, hey, like I say, just, just show up every day. Just show up every day. These kids here. If we weren't playing, they'll still be out on this field throwing the ball and doing some stuff. So, you know, they out there, man. So, I mean, th th this is one of, the, one of the best situations I've ever been in where we got 70 guys that want to practice every day and there every day. So, it it's really good in next. I believe you played South Delta last week, won that ball game 40, I believe 41 to 20. Talk about putting up 40 plus points. Uh, well, like you said, we just run our offense, man. You know, everybody like offense. So, and you put the kids out there and they executed and they kept on going and you know, we put the second team in, and they kept on going and start. You know, they, they just did what they had to do, man. And, and, and we ended up with 41, which is great. Okay. Uh, this week you have Gentry. Gentry. Uh, just left the practice field. Who you put the game plan in for the Rams in Indianola on Friday night? Uh, we put the game plan in yesterday, man. On a Monday, we put put the game plan in on Mondays. We practice on Tuesday real hard. We iron out the kinks on Wednesday, and then Thursday, kind of lay back. And Friday, we ready to go. Coach, t talk about your talent level here. Uh, you, you've been around football for a long time. Talk about your talent level and, and what you can accomplish here at Holmes County Central. A lot of talent, man. I mean, you got you got kids here that's probably some of the best kids in the state. They just wasn't getting the recognition. You know, they just wasn't getting a lot of recognition down here. Now, all of a sudden, you, you see TV cameras coming down here checking them out. You see them all on the TV. You hear people talking about them. So, you know, the talent is here. You just got to get it, hone it in, teach them. And just let them let them explode. Talk about your coaching staff, the people that you have to, to help you get to the level that you want to get to. Oh man, I got one of the best coaching styles ever, man. The, the coach staff out here have really been with me, man, just wherever I've been. I was in Yazoo City, they were down there with me. I came down here. Uh, some of the guys came the first year, the rest of them came the second year. Then I got some young coaches that's from here, you know, the Anderson kid, and, and I got a guy uh, that used to be a head coach down uh, uh, Mac Adams. Got a head coach used to be at um, Jim Hill. So I got a lot of head coaches in here, man, and my staff that, that always been with me. It's just beautiful. When you talk about scoring points, many times people think about putting that football in the air. What is your style? What is your choice in terms of getting to the end zone? How well, you like to do it? Well, what we do is, is, is take what they give us, man. If they're going to try to stop the run, we're going to throw it. If they try to go, gonna try to stop the pass, we're going to run it. So, you know, we just have to be multi-purpose, and, and we practice it all. Whatever they give us, that's what we take. Coach, you, uh, this year, not like last year, you can play for something in postseason. Uh, talk about the district that you're in this year. Tough district, man. You know, they put us in, went from 3A to 5A. Uh, that's jumping up right there. You know, those guys, they used to playing. They had good facilities and all that. So we just got to get our mindset into playing 5A. I think once we do that, we're going to be okay. Any program that's winning, they got one thing they'll tell you, any coach will say, well, you got to have discipline. How about Coach Wolfo? 
Oh, yeah, man. I mean, but these guys are disciplined. These guys do whatever we ask them to do. I told you they're some of the best guys I ever coached. Okay. Many times, coaches, so listen, we use uh, football uh, to teach life. Is that your oh, philosophy yeah. as well? Hey, man, that is sure enough true. You teach life every day at practice. You teach life every day in a game. You're going to have ups and downs in life. You're going to have ups and downs on that field. You might farm them. You might throw an interception. That's life. You just got to keep coming back. You can't give up. And that's, I mean, that's, that, football has got me this for everything in my life. I just put it to football. And that's what I tell those guys. Could you have 75 guys out? Do, do you have any guys going both ways? I uh, got a few guys, man. Uh, that you know, big linemen just kind of got to go both ways. They, they're so talented and they're so big. We just have to do that. But not many guys, man. I think probably about one, maybe two guys going both ways. Okay, coach. When the, when the fans come to see the Jaguars, mm -hmm. uh, what do what kind of team will they see and what should they expect to see? They're gonna they're gonna see a well-disciplined team. They're gonna see a bunch of guys that's gonna have some fun. And they're going to they gonna see a team that want to win. And they're going to see a winning team. Okay. Coach, thanks an awful lot for your time. Congratulations. Good luck on the season. Thank you, Coach. No problem.